We were talking about this earlier. I was like stalking your uh, informations online. Mm -hmm. I was curious. I looked up your MBTI, and it's a type of MBTI where you already like keep uh huh. Luckily for you, I'm already tired now. Okay. Yeah. But if I had been like, I had to like calm down the gay energy. So. No. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Denise. I'm here today with Edward. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Boy, I'm this so is like the Wendy show. Here. While we're chit chatting, I'm just gonna do your makeup. Yeah. I always thought you were like a warm tone. I am. Did I got you? my personal color test recently. Oh, good. And everything I that ask. I've been doing is wrong. What, what, what was it? I'm a Pum Clio. Clear spring. Clear spring? And I want it to be a winter or fall so bad. You're, gonna be, you're the same as Joy from uh, yeah. Red Velvet. Yeah. Joy from Red Velvet and um, IU. So <laughs> she told me a lot of things and then I was just kind of like, okay, like, I take it. I, I went home really sad that day. Because they said, oh, black, not for you. Yeah, yeah, Maja. They were saying something like with springs, you can kind of compare it to like, if you see flowers, mm -hmm. the closer they are to the, the sunlight or whatever, the more lively they are, but the darker it is and the farther, it's like they're losing their life. Yeah, I just wanted to be a grunge emo girl so bad. <laughs> it's okay, you can do it though. I still am, yeah. but it's my aesthetic doesn't match. Mm -hmm. So I've been wearing a lot of colors recently. Yeah, because Bom is like one zone, like bright, my Peppy. top best colors are literally the rainbow. Yeah. Like, macho, macho. It was literally tomato red. Yeah. I'm gonna focus on the makeup so you can just chit chat the entire update the fans what you've been up to. I've been on TikTok. Oh girl. <laughs> if that ain't the life right now. I'm not even lying to you. It takes me so much longer to take a TikTok than I like to admit. This is harder than I thought. It is. I'm doing fucking YouTube and a little bit of 30 minute videos. Yeah. And it's so much easier than TikTok where I'm like it's like four, like 10 seconds and it's the 10 seconds. <laughs> it's the lip syncing. It is, it's a 10 seconds account though. It's literally that and yeah. I'm just going like, this is not it. Like one second of it doesn't, I don't like it. Yeah. That or I'm like, someone's going to screenshot this. Someone will screenshot it and I'm going to just want to disappear. Forever. And the fact that you can easily download TikTok videos, people can just repost that shit. I saw that you have a, uh... SoundCloud. I do have a SoundCloud, oh, but that was from ages ago, so. That was before. Um, it's from before. Oh. I released an EP. She, she said, okay. I had an EP out, and then I um, haven't really done anything on it recently. Mm. But when it comes to my music, I'm very kind of, I just want to make sure everything's exactly how I want it. So honestly, I was about to delete everything off of that SoundCloud, but people already have it. And they like it's on YouTube and stuff. So I'm like, if I delete it, it's not yeah. it's not really worth it. So. Sounds like, sounds like your MBTI. I guess INFJ just INFJ team. Yeah. I like the whole um, thing with really natural chill vibes though. Like, yep. When it comes to music, kind of like rough cuts, mm -hmm. but then with certain songs, like, I need it to be a certain way. Or I really want it to be a certain way, and I kind of recorded those really quickly, and because just what I was going. With, on in my life i just felt like i need to get that out there when i had the most emotion Oof. so i was Oof. doing that for the most part i remember i used to when i did release music for some time my young was like you should write the lyrics but i'm just like i'm like a cold-hearted bitch with no emotions like how, i don't know where i'm like where do i even get inspiration for this shit i used to watch some of your videos though so this is so it's like a dream come true when people fucking say that i'm just like thinking about all the nasty shit i've been i posted back in the day <laughs> I'm like, what was I like at that point? Because I used to watch um, Joan. Like, ah, good Yeah, because I was my first time whenever I came to Korea, mm. I was in Spsang, and then she was one of the only like, other pools I found. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, so she was showing like, places to go mm. and what it was like. She was like, yeah, Edward Avila is one of those fake, like, Korea boos that come to Korea no! to get plastic surgery and film videos about it. So, no. time to watch a real Gyopo. No, but then I saw you on her, a lot of her videos. I was mm. like, oh my gosh, so I looked you up and I subscribed. Yeah, because originally she wasn't gonna keep doing YouTube, but I was like, bitch, Don't. get on it. And dodging it, she was like more Yoshimi than me. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, bitch. She did that uh, 365, yeah, 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 yeah. where she literally vlogged every day. And I was like, dude, that's dedication. You make me, I'm, like, I'm gonna pass out just watching you. <laughs> but she was. <sighs> Cause she was doing something every day. For me, when I visit a new place, I want to like enjoy the new place. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like, before I step in for the first time, just, hey guys, I'm here. At the, I'm like, I can't do that not anymore. Oh no, she's really good. She like, okay. she gets the shots. She like, she'll put like, she's like, no she way. She's walking shots. And she's walking shots. She'll put her camera down on like a certain step. She's like, okay, wait, three. <laughs> I'm like, girl, that's the life I wish I could live, but it's that's too much. My, that's how my life looks in my brain. <laughs> and then in reality. In reality, people make memes out of your there's struggles. Just, yeah. There, not even my struggles. Just I think I'm having like a good day or something, and then and then they post it like, "What's wrong with her eyebrows?" 
<laughs> not the eyebrows. <laughs> not that. So anytime I go anywhere, I'm just like, please don't look at my eyebrows. Don't look at them. Because they're, they're <laughs> really full, I guess. It's because I have curly hair. So my eyes ah, are like and stuff like that. But then mm. I just don't know what to do with them. So I would always just like brush them out, mm -hmm. and that was just about it. Like use a brow gel, mm -hmm. but then oh, she said Anastasia them. brow freeze. Not even. She said feather. She said soap brows. <laughs> <laughs> but then I literally just would throw something in because drawing them and making a shape and stuff mm -hmm. is just it just I don't know what they're supposed to look like. You literally have the brows that all the girls on TikTok want, just mm -hmm. like fluffy ass. That's the thing. That's why I don't know what to do with them. So like friends that I have, I'll talk to them about that. Mm -hmm. They're both. And I'm like, I don't know how to draw my eyebrows. Go, girl, I got none. So it's just ah, like, it's a different see. struggle. Yeah, yeah. But I do know a lot of people like shave their eyebrows. I I watched people yeah. like, shave their eyebrows off so they could reshape them. Girl, I considered it. Isn't that what you're doing when you were like? Yeah, I was. From Monday whenever, with... Yeah, whenever you get your makeup done, they sh they trim your eyebrows for you mm -hmm. to make sure they can get the shape down yeah, how yeah, they need it to be. And because you know, different eyebrow shapes really change your face. Good you, good you. So, and all the concepts and shit. Mm -hmm. so. so I was doing that, but then days where I would go out without makeup on, which was every other day. <laughs> You'd be missing your brows. I have no emotions. I have no emotions. <laughs> it's like, is she sad? Oh is my she happy? God. We will never know. Just gotta she, keep them guessing. Oh my, she was like those, would you like those uh, goths on Tumblr that just had no brows? No brows and they're just a few aged. Yeah. Oh and my it was gosh. just. They just didn't feel good. Because my eyebrows grew back really quickly. So mm. they always go, like, oh, every time I'd go, they're like, we need to bleach them. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I'm surprised that they're back now to the <laughs> Back in time for this video? Yeah. <laughs> I thank God every day for that. Because <laughs> I also see a lot of people, because I didn't pluck my eyebrows growing up or anything mm. either. Mm. Not much, at least. So. But um, you're like, what, what you were born again? 2001. Girl, you're way past the time where people were over plucking anyway. So. Yeah, because so I watched all those like Vogue videos and I was like, oh, I grew up <laughs> in an area where super thin eyebrows yeah, 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 yeah. were plucking them. Vogue videos. Yeah, and then I was just like, yo. But I see all these like, girls or like people online and they're, I think thin brows are like, kind of coming back mm -hmm. for certain trends yep. and stuff. Maja. And it looks really good. And I'm just like, I think about it for a couple seconds. Or I'll use the filters that show you what it would look like. I saw the one with like bangs or bangs. Uh uh. -huh. Not like, not the not the choice. Not the move. I'm never getting bangs. Like it's not for me. It's just not gonna work for me. It's like see through then maybe. But I always mm. wanted like the choppy bangs, you know. Choppy bangs. I watched Shang Chi recently. Shang Chi and then the the sister mm. when she has like the Cleopatra ones, like mm -hmm. the shorter bangs. Mm -hmm. I watched it and then I sent my sister a picture and I was like, what if? And she goes, no. <laughs> she it's usually stop. your family, your family that needs to take through. She's the, she's my, she's my number one. Like, she will be straight with me about anything. So she was like, no. That's, honestly, like, oh, okay. that's good. My mom too. She's like, don't ever get bangs. <laughs> when I got bangs, when I was little, all I had were bangs. I had like the Dora haircut with the this and the bob. She said, and the teeth. Oh, we already saw you. For me. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, so not anymore. Oh my god. Which is why when people find my. I don't know how, but young preschool, like kindergarten pictures. Mm. <sighs> I'm just kidding. It's humbling. It's very humbling. How do people find that shit? I don't know. So, like, it, I don't know how people are finding it, but, you know. Is it past schoolmates? And I'm like, I went to school with this bitch? Possibly, you know? Like, these yearbook pictures, they were out to... Does anyone have a good yearbook picture? I want to know. Does anyone have a good yearbook photo? Not me. You do? You would. Oh. But in Korea, you can post it. Dude, when I first got my uh, my 등록증 사진 mm. for like my passport and stuff, mm. they were like, 보정해 주고 있었어. Like 보정은 mm. 공짜로 해 준대. And I was like, 보정. <laughs> and then they made my eyes. Like, you want your eyes to be bigger? You want your like top line? Baby and girl. And things oh. like that. And I was like, wait, for high school yearbook? No, no, no. For um the like 여권 사진. 아 여권. And I didn't know that was such a big thing here. Mm -hmm. So I, when I first got it done, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't really mind. Because, <laughs> you know, America is like, you, it's just, it's literally like, it's just the picture of you and none of them, you have to On show like the ears. shitty Logitech webcam. Yeah, you have literally. to show your ears. And, uh, it's just so embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, just like DMV, like, boom and go, boom yeah. and go. In Korea, they're like, we don't want to see what you really look like, so. This is the thing. So sometimes, like, are they gonna stop me whenever I try to travel? Because honestly, I don't think I look like this. Funny story, because recently mm -hmm. I was in a would you going to Texas. I had a transfer in LA. Mm -hmm. They're like, uh, sir, can we please in immigration? Uh, sir, can we take you to the back? I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> not I was, the back. Not the back. I was like, what back room? <laughs> not that kind of back room, unfortunately. But um, he took me there. There was a bunch of people waiting. I was like. 
okay with going back, but like what I was worried about is my transfer flight was like in less than an oh, hour. Yeah. And you know, international was like a different yeah. terminal. Uh -huh. And I don't know how long it was be there because there was a lot of people in there. Mm -hmm. Luckily I got there and like they called me back in like 30 minutes, but they were like, oh, sir, did you get plastic surgery? I was like, <laughs> having to explain to these Americans why Koreans Photoshop their like mm -hmm. past performance, I was just like, yeah, it's kind of like a thing there. Like, he was nice though. He's like, it's okay if you didn't. Just tell me the truth. I was just like, yeah. Because there's like a webcam at the immigration oh. thing. They're like, it didn't match the picture on the system. So I was like. <laughs> I never thought twice. Oh, I can see why they would do that though. Yeah. But, but, but dang. Yeah, he really, he really said, um, who is this? <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that happened to you, but dang. Oh no, it's fine. I made my flight in time and that's all that matters. And then, yeah, no, missing your flight is so annoying. Missing yeah. your flight, having a delay, one flight delayed, and then the next mm -hmm. you can't get your delay. Okay, I was in Houston and my, it was Christmas, so I mean, this is like this neighborhood that's famous for like the, they're like the really like almost like mansion houses and they're always famous for their lights. And so we went to oh, go I know see them. About, yeah. And my friend was about. like, yeah, this neighborhood is famous for the Christmas lights. So people go here to watch the lights. Yeah. They have competitions. Yeah. Yeah, they have actual competitions. Yeah, but he was talking to me, he's like, yeah, like for what you can pay in like Korea or like in Seoul or like in LA, yeah. you can literally just buy one of these houses. And I was no, like- yeah, it's so much cheaper. So when I was yeah. looking at rent here versus um, rent in America, I got so culture shock because of, because mm -hmm. uh, Texas just has so much land. Maja. And then Korea obviously is like a way smaller country. Maja. So for what you're getting, even if it's a really nice apartment, here, no, but what you'll pay for to get like a mansion in Houston or like Texas, mm -hmm. you can get like just a decent apartment. Uh, in Korea. Hmm. And like I don't an want okay an apartment. apartment. Like yeah. I want to be because I sing a lot, and mm -hmm. when I sing, you know, it's loud. <laughs> yeah. And almost every place I've ever lived, I've gotten complaints because Maja. of my singing and guitar playing. I guess the the thing, the floors and the walls are so thin. They're so thin. Yeah. So I just I get I feel really bad for the people that are like always above or like below or around me because mm -hmm. I can't really help it sometimes. Or I'll be recording because a lot of times I'll just have all my recording stuff set up wherever yeah. I'm living. So that's also why I was I always felt bad for roommates that I had because I was just always doing something. Yeah. Or I always just play music wherever I am. Like I always have an amp and I always play music an wherever. Amp. Mm -hmm. I love that. So I just have to have my music playing all the time. So whenever I first moved in with um, the people I was living with, they're like, "진짜 데니스는 음악과 함께 사는 거구나." Yeah. <laughs> right. And I was like, I guess, but it's just like background music for my life, you know? Background music for my life, yeah. yeah. I bought a, Every day is my main character moment. I'm just living in it. <laughs> Yokshi, TikTok was made for you. <laughs> That's the weird thing, but when I take TikTok, I feel really embarrassed. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, like if I'm alone, it's just kind of like, oh. But then earlier when I was trying to take them, I was just like... This. Yeah. Like, I wasn't on Musical.ly, but then I saw these people being really good at it. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's really cool. Couldn't be me, but big admiration for that. But, so I was trying and I was like... But technically, is filming music videos like um, the same kind of like... It is, but I feel like since it's like my job, it was more... It was less teams. awkward. Ah, like, okay. It's like doing stage stuff. So once I go out, it's just very much not my alter ego persona, mm -hmm. but on stage and when I'm doing work and stuff like that, it's a lot more, I feel okay doing that. And then the second I get off stage or whatever, I just don't want to be perceived as a person. So, I opened my Twitter and I was like, this is scary because I feel like everything always goes down on Twitter. Oh, honey, we're having, well, as we were eating tacos and burritos earlier, we were just talking about this. Yeah. Like, you can't do anything on Twitter without it get, getting twisted into like. I turned on a space one time and I didn't know it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't mean to turn it on. The little live sort of yeah, yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Podcast. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's nice because I can just talk and it's not as big of a deal. It's yeah, like it's like a live, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't because I just touched something and then it opened up a tab mm -hmm. and I tried to get out, but I guess I swiped to the live and it opened it. Mm -hmm. And, and then people started joining. So by the time I was trying to, I figured out how to turn it off, there were already people. So I felt bad. So I was like, hi. <laughs> well, I guess. I literally said, hi, welcome to my TED talk. And, <laughs> and also I was drinking tea because I was just, you know, I get thirsty. Oh girl. And then. You know, what is like, Denise doing? They're like, what are you drinking? I was like, how'd you know I was drinking something? Oh my God. And then like, you're like gulping. And I was just <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was like, okay, so new insecurity unlocked. <laughs> like, yeah. don't drink in front of people, period. Gotcha. I don't know. It wasn't like I was like, <clears throat> or anything like that. <laughs> oh. But you know, you know, like in like TV shows when they're like gulping something down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like that. But <laughs> for them, they were, they, I guess like people had headphones on or something, mm -hmm. but I don't know. She was giving that ASMR fantasy. I 
love ASMR. <laughs> I love it. Are you one of those people that has to watch it or else you can't go to bed? Oh, no, it's not like that. I just watch it for fun. Mm -hmm. what are your, what's your favorite genre? I like personal attention, um, which is like basically... <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> Californian. I'm fine, guys. They just give you like love and affection and care. Oh, and is it one of those mind. ones where they like light this thing and find it like, this is for you. No, that's aura. <laughs> that's aura stuff. That's like cleansing your aura. I feel like Claire, she, she knows all stuff. She's like, that's... Mine are like, actually like, do it, they're doing your makeup for you. Or like, oh. I love mm, face brushing. Go. My dream is to just, why is there not a place open that's like a ASMR spa where mm. they just whisper to you and then just brush your face. Couldn't they? Technically, could you, like, don't you have a mic at home? Could you do that to yourself? It's not the same. Because she's like, they're doing it for you. My favorite is um, Latte ASMR. Latte no ASMR. She's this, latte oh, the pro oh, that channel. I know them. No more penny. Every time she uploads a video, mm. it is it is a it's a masterpiece. Like she has her own set. She had this one video where she was baking cookies for mm. you, so mm. y'all could eat them together. And somehow she got the sound of the cookies cooking. That's what I love. The channels that like separately record the uh, the audio. The audio. <laughs> So because of that, I was just like, dude, this is amazing. So oh I don't even watch them to fall asleep or anything because I want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I watch a lot of those. I like people with accents. It's <laughs> um, so like British, Australian, Irish. I love the ones where they're putting lip gloss on. Oh, yeah. And they're just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like mouth sounds. OK. Oh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they call them mouth sounds. Uh, ASMR tingly. Mouth sounds. They always have to like label the type tingles. of. I don't get tingles though, that's the thing. Mm. So, but I like ASMR a lot. So I like hair brushing. I just like when people play with my hair. It's just so therapeutic for mm. me. I think it's because when I was young, my mom would play with my hair a lot. Oh. When Cute. I was in school, there was a thing. I don't know why, but then it's like playing with someone's hair and drawing on their back. Mm. When I was in school, that was such a big thing. So anytime you were like sitting in the library for the librarian to read, you would always, well, I would, I would turn around to the person behind me and I would say like, I was like gaslighting them into it. I was like, you can you can draw my back and close my hair if you want to. Oh my god. <laughs> it Some... was a very um, mutual oh. exchange. Like okay. this time if you do it for me, I'll do it for you next time kind of thing. And then there was a point where teachers would get sick of it. And then they would go, this is not a beauty salon. <laughs> and then... Goes home like, oh, mommy, there's this really weird girl at school telling me to rub her hair and shit. Help. <laughs> We were all into it though. Oh, it's like, it was a thing. I don't know. I don't know if it was just my school or whatever, but we just did that. And I think that's where it stems from. Mm. I think it's where it stems from. Like, I would pay someone to play with my hair, legit. And so, and I found out in Korea they have like scalp therapy places. Mm -hmm. Denise, we were having an entire conversation about how this is the kind of shit that you say on camera, and uh -huh. people twist it, and they're like, "Where's that? Where's that Venmo? Give me that Venmo. <laughs> Where's that okay. Venmo?" You know OnlyFans. <gasps> oh, honey, don't we know it? <laughs> So oh, we know oh, it. Does. We do. We know. I think it's for okay. I was gonna mm. put it up as a joke on Valentine's Day, you don't and I was gonna because you know on Instagram you can change the link name. Because mm -hmm. my friend did that one time on her personal, and I thought it was so funny because um she said something like gift for all y'all, and then it said like OnlyFans slash her name, and then you click on the link, it's the YouTube video of the guy um, taking a picture of you, like caught in HD. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wanted uh -huh. to do that, but I felt like people wouldn't get it. Some people wouldn't get it, so I didn't want to. They wouldn't click the like, they would just see the tweet and they'd be like, they'd be like she she's is... not all my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I'm like, I have to pay my college tuition somehow, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I watch like TikToks and then there's, there's this one person who was, um, I guess they go around and ask people like, oh, what do you do? And then there was one girl in like this really nice car. She's like, oh, I do OnlyFans. And then she's like, so all of this is all from OnlyFans. She's like, yeah. And I was just sitting there, I was like, you can do that, huh? Yep. Big respect. Like, I'm just like, dude, like, I, it couldn't be me, but I'm like, dude, go for it. If that's your if that's your niche and your thing, then honestly do it if you, if you can. Big respect to I mean, I'm this close. <laughs> so open I'm this close, watch nobody subscribes. My mom subscribes. Oh my God. I'm so proud of you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> my parents are very much on my social medias. Oh, Sometimes ahead. they'll text me stuff and they're like, what is not this? happy with what you upload. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. This is the internet. Yeah. You know, and also obviously my first thought whenever I'm uploading stuff is what are my parents going to think? Mm. So obviously like singing or dancing, they're like, oh, you know. Cute. Mm -hmm. But then if it's like a, a meme or something, then mm. they're very, especially if it's what like is the meaning profanity of this? or things like that in it. Mm -hmm. like, just like not even me swearing, but like a sound in the back, then they're very... So then you have to think about everything you post then. Cool, I, yeah? I don't, that's the thing. Because I'm very, um, 
because they told me one time they're like take this down and i said no <laughs> oh, sh- i was like, yeah, the I was thing like is, no she love doesn't you. <laughs> <laughs> denise doesn't like being told what to do i don't it's an infj thing yeah true I think it's also just a stubborn person thing. Yeah. But then also sometimes my mom, especially after like I get ready, she'll come to me, she goes, your eyebrows are uneven. <laughs> I think is it when it's family, it means something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why are you coming here looking like trash? <laughs> Who said you can walk out with something so like that? She'll come to me with Q-tips and she's like, let me, oh, I'm just like, and that's, oh then, then I'll be like, I like them uneven, leave them alone. Oh, I like them uneven. And then you go back to the bathroom and start yeah, crying. I do. I do. Are they really that uneven? I go to the bathroom and I'm just like, <laughs> with tissue paper in the back but. but the thing is with your face you already have a lot of like defined features so you don't really need to do much I do you have the privilege of being bare faced and oh, still look okay you. I just thought I looked like an egg like my no people like my nickname when I came to Korea for a while was Mapam. you know like the palm that they sell because my head is ah. like chestnut <laughs> so that was my nickname for a while so I went by that that was a, one very big nickname I had hmm. and it was just like they call me that sometimes every now and then. They're like, oh, Uri Mapam. And it's kind of nice to hear. But at, for a while, I took it as a, as a as like, insult. Oh. I mean, yeah. You didn't know whether to like it or not? Yeah, how do you get over someone saying that your head looks like a chestnut? <laughs> <laughs> how are you supposed to take that? In Korea, is it like a compliment? Like, oh, you're cute. And yeah, yeah, yeah. When I came to Korea, they're like, oh, you're so cute. Like, oh, you're so cute. Like, what the fuck you say, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, I, was just, I literally was like, oh, I'm sorry. And mm. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I guess. And they're like, no, 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 it's a good thing. And I didn't get it until later on. Mm-hmm. Like, they're talking about cute yeah. and um, like head size head and size, shape. Yeah. And I, I was just like, that's... That's not something I've ever thought about before. I learned so much stuff about me, like my face and my body after I came to Korea. Because yeah. everyone would just point it out. Did you guys get, hear about, how did you guys feel when you heard about shit like that? Like, oh, face size and all that shit. You're like, hmm, welcome to Korea. <laughs> oh, I perceive myself. Like Korea. when people are talking about like head size. And, well, then you're like tall. No, but... I'm not massive head. I just don't look in the mirror. Not if she's a no one responding. Yeah. Enjoy <laughs> Now, I feel like a lot of people who are relatively good looking, they have big heads. Yeah, the thing is, having a good looking face though, you get away with a lot of shit. <laughs> okay. I needed that. I, needed that. <laughs> I, I really needed that. Today. <laughs> the face, like, yeah. you don't look at the back. You know? That's true. It's like that one video, the back of your head is ridiculous. Like, literally. <laughs> That when was that from? It's from the the like the movie theater skit from a long time ago. I was like, can I have Shoot, your number? That's that some, like, one. That's Tumblr days, wasn't it? That was the era of the ah. that I was on. Was it? Yeah. Well, I I grew up with all older siblings because I have an older sister, and then all my cousins mm, were always okay. older. Mm. So I consider myself a nineties baby. Nineties baby. That's what I grew up with. Mm. But I feel like I'm very torn. Between, um, what is it? Millennials and Gen Z. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people that are like my cousins, my older siblings, like, they know more about this generation than I do. Because I wasn't on TikTok until really late. Yeah, same. Because like, I, I just Vine. don't know. I loved Vine. I loved <sighs> Vine humor. Because I just thought TikTok was like a dancing app. Yeah, wasn't it mostly kind of like a musical before? A musical, a musically. Musically. I mean, it started off that way. Yeah, but then later on, the girls got on and started changing the meta. There's. People are so funny it's on just TikTok. Too fucking much because for my old I ass. almost always, every time I'm on it, I get that. I don't know if it's, like, it's that ad that's like, you should take a break. You're moving too fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You just, you just haven't been on that long. I've like, never I will on. Take, like, hours will fly by if I'm on TikTok like that. TikTok is so much fun. It's addicting because it keeps moving. You just keep going. That's the lottery. It's it is. a black hole. And if I find a really funny one, I'll, especially <gasps> in the middle of the night, I'll sit there and it's like, everything is 10 times funnier. Oh so I'll God. like it and it's in my save. And then sometimes I'll go back and look through them if I want to laugh. And I go, why did I think this was funny? <laughs> Yeah, I think because even, I mean, I'm not, I, I do watch like YouTube shorts, but I just feel like for the fat past few years, just my sense of humor has just become, I laugh at the stupidest shit. Me too. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah, like. And like dad jokes, I love dad, dad jokes. Dad jokes. I follow dad jokes on Instagram. It's literally. It's a dad whole dad ass dad account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's love a, it's that. It's an account. And it's uh, it was the most recent one that I saw, it said, um, what is it, something about how light, what happens when light hits you? Mm-hmm. It goes, it hurts. You know, like hurts, like speed. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I thought that was so funny. That's not even stupid. That's physics. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> Claire's like, that's, that's like humor. physics. When there's, when there's something, I guess, like school-based uh-huh. or educational in it, I think it's so much funnier. I love that for you. <laughs> I was so Yoshimi in school for me to ah, be a musician. Were you a uh, Muji? Teacher's pet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. 
Other teachers, but... I'd rather be that because I feel like I never understood those people that would like the class clowns. Those are the ones that are like genuinely funny, but those are the ones that would like cause ruckus for no reason. Mm. I just they're just trying to take years off the teacher's life. Yeah. Then again, I both my I have Filipino parents or I have Filipino parents, so they're always like you need to be candle at school, like just. Oh, my parents never liked that. I think it's just because I was like I need everyone to like me at all times, so that was my thing with teachers. I just needed people to love me. Oh my god. So I would give my teachers hugs and things like that and give them Christmas gifts. And that was also because I genuinely oh, wow. liked some of them. But I don't think I ever had a teacher that I genuinely like, didn't get along with, except for a few. And they, I would be so nice to them. Really? That. Uh -huh. That's like a thing that I had. Like, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I told someone this recently. That... <laughs> I told mm. someone this recently. I said, oh, no, if I'm like really nice to someone, that means I probably don't like them. <laughs> Well, now I know where our standing is. No, because I'm I'm <laughs> honest with you, and that True. means that I'm pretty chill. <laughs> so I just be like, oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you. Love your channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Literally, you on our, when we first met. No, I did though because I literally <laughs> said that, and then because I told you on your schedule that we the video we did with you is one of my favorite schedules that we did because mm -hmm. it was just so chill and also because I had the advantage because I spoke English obviously true and I was vibe like, with the English speaking yeah. sisters that was my first um, English speaking schedule to be honest <gasps> one of or one of the first so I thought because they didn't tell us Okay. That we would be speaking English. Ah. Did they even tell you what you were doing? Not really. We, just, we just got like a Shigam Kyo that told us like, oh, from this time to this time, we're doing something. Like, chadong, chadong, mm. I didn't really think too much about it. Okay. But then it was actually so fun. And the games were hilarious. Yeah, they were really fun. Because sometimes I'll like, go back and rewatch it with like my other friends. And then <laughs> we'll like, text each other and be like, dude, we're so funny. Ah, we're so funny. Because <laughs> like, we'll look back and also your editing was so good. There's actually a lot of people that reacted to it. The editing? Oh. The video in general. Like, you know, oh, when really? people do music video reactions, oh, yeah. they reacted to that video. I was like, <laughs> bougie. There's a lot to react to in that one. Yeah. It was really fun because I love playing games and stuff. Oh, yeah. So like I love card games and board games, like Uno. I get competitive with Monopoly. Yeah. I love Monopoly. I will... I'll get messy with Monopoly. See, I love that. I feel like a lot of my friends these days will be like, let's go drinking! But I'm like, can we just play, like, board games? Yeah. It was mm. Papa's Freezeria on the internet when I was young, and that was my game! Aww. When Flash was a thing. It's like, don't... Oh, yeah, Flash. I don't play it. I had to have it. Flash. I had to have it. <gasps> that and those Damn. other one called Avatar Shoot, which was a... Avatar Shoot! Do you know what that is? I have no Okay, it was a Korean game when I was little, and that was that was where I was holed up in. That's where I was on the internet. It's like G I can't answer my Gmail chat right now. I'm playing a game. Gmail chat? You were on AIM or anything or Yahoo? Uh, AIM by the time I was on was already, and I think I wasn't the like the age allowed to be on AIM at the time, so I couldn't use AIM. But I would relentlessly listen to my sister type away on AIM. That's so cute. Because they had all the cool... Um, Were you on AIM? Whenever you come in like a thing. This is chat world. You were She's a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Next video, you. You're going to be in the hot seat. This girl's crazy. <laughs> the C and Claire is crazy. <laughs> it's okay. I have a lot of things that I have for like my names and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know. I have a lot of things. There's like one recently. I was like, the S and Denise is for Sim. I'm just like, period. Because people are like, she will never be in a relationship. And I'm like, just try me. Try me. Is that them just projecting that they want to be in a relationship with you? I think I do get that a lot though. I've gotten a lot of propositions on the internet. Say, wasn't there the thing you're talking about or the yeah, Twitter thing? A lot of them will live in like my hometown or something. And so they're like, just give me a chance. Wow. That is a... Next video, do you want Edward or Hamilton? <laughs> I just want you to collect all the Twitter profiles, and we're just gonna like rate them. A lot of them, they don't really have profile pictures, do they? It'll be like your picture or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rating myself. Yeah. Oh, I can do that. I will tell you exactly from one to ten which picture was not it for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she showed me earlier like this. There's person. an app. Please, I gotta tell y'all. There's an app that people are mm -hmm. using mm -hmm. where okay. it makes your face structure and the lines or whatever clearer. It makes them look like an HD photo. Just it does not look good. Please stop using it. Very 2010 <laughs> HDR yeah. when not. everyone was like, I'm a photographer. When they had like a Nikon, a cheap Nikon DSLR. Or they'll turn the, the clarity on the on the, oh, not the like clarity. all the way up. Because so I'm, I just sometimes I'll see those pictures and I'm like. Come on, MySpace. Yeah. Were you even on MySpace? I was. I wasn't on MySpace, but um, I loved 
I loved MySpace because my sister, like, she, like, you know, when you open MySpace, you have like the song that plays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just exponentially better, better mm, than Facebook. True. You can so, customize your shit. But by the time that um, I started getting on the internet, Facebook was already the bigger thing. Ah. But Facebook was fun. I would get people from, it was like elementary school though, I would get people like poke me. Poke me? Yeah. I people, never understood that feature. Me neither. But then I guess some people li like, there was this guy that liked me and he would keep poking me and I didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> I was very oblivious. I'm very oblivious to oh, that honey. kind of stuff. The only kind of poke I'm looking for? Oh my God, Eddie, stop. What? <laughs> Yangochi. Oh yeah, <laughs> Yangochi is so... You know, there's a, you know there's a um, place here in Korea, it's a store for furniture, but I think it's, <laughs> it's like, it's like Yang. Uh -huh. Sheep face, but it's called Crispy Baba. Oh, yeah. And every time I say Crispy Baba, I'm like that's another way to say it. I guess. Crispy Baba. Baba. Sheep. They go. Ah. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, yeah. What was like your go-to uh, meal for like if going you had some out? extra money to uh, spend? So you're gonna girls' night out. Chuk -chuk -tuk you cook it and they eat it right away. It's just so yummy. I don't know what it was. I was so into it for a while. Meungo or sugan mat? I used to, okay, I love spicy food and I used mm -hmm. to be so good at eating it, but now I suck. You suck? Yeah. Can't you like build a tolerance? You can build a tolerance. And I also think I was so stressed at that time that um, that was my. Your relief. comfort food? Yeah. yeah. But like I used to eat prudap bukumen like it was nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. Now I have a Anytime I have something spicy though, like to be honest, like, even these days, like, Takis. Takis? Are you serious? Yeah, but then um, I'll be eating them, but the thing is, what I always do if I have something, I go, Lizzie. <laughs> <"Lizzie." laughs> so I sit there like that. The thing is, I'll be by myself and I'll be doing that. And, and then I realize, I'm like, this is a little embarrassing. Because mm -hmm. I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> do you not do that? Is that not No, I don't. I don't. I have do full conversations with myself. <gasps> because in that way, I do that, and I'm like, oh, so don't say this around people. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It is. Practice makes perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. You just gotta know sometimes mm -hmm. that I'm like, that was kind of mean. <laughs> Speaking of spicy food, do you love maratang, Denise? Oh Yo, my god, fucking maratang. Maratang, maratang, maratang. Someone took me to the first time because I would only have maratang at that mm -hmm. point. And I was like, it's good. And mm -hmm. then I had changwo for the first time, blew my mind. Yeah. Absolutely, the mm -hmm. flavor. Literally. Amen. I can't get over it. Because I will eat that every single day. I did eat that every single day for a while. Me I too. would order it. Um, I always get spam chuga. Chungup dangmyeon. What's that thingy? Fuzu. Like, I love fuzu the most. Fuzu? The fuzu. wrinkly. Uh, the tofu thingy? Yes, tofu oh, thing. The, the, that's the best in Changwo because it's yes. both of the flavor. Yes. I love the thing that. It's like the tangsuyu, but it's like the whole pieces. Kwaboro. 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 Put that shit in me. That's the best <laughs> so combination. It's Maratang it and kwaboro. I can or never mas. finish both of them. Oh, right. Yeah, so I have, to, I have to get it with, when I'm like with a group of people. Mm. But then I want to be alone. <laughs> Honestly, the struggle. Uh, the struggle of wanting to eat like family sized portion things, but then. But you can't, yeah, you're going to waste your money, but just. Order food. Just makes me really sad. Especially with delivery, because you can you have to order a minimum a amount. amount. You can't just have like, oh, eating. There's some places that do, yeah, but like, but it's not as good. yeah, there's like what we're talking about the menu yeah. that we want. Only you have to order a certain jim size. I love jim mm. but you can only get it when, and it starts at like two to three people serving. Manja, so kenyang, eat as much as you can and put the rest in the fridge yeah. and save. I love the feeling of like being starving and then remembering you have some leftovers in the fridge. <laughs> that feeling is like. Boyfriend, fuck that. I want that feeling. <laughs> Remembering I have leftovers. It's reassurance. They yes. won't leave you. Yes. That food won't leave you. Like, they care for you. Pedaram <laughs> shik is so well done in Korea. Mm -hmm. Everyone I meet in Korea, they just don't cook. Right. Anytime I would move in somewhere, I would go because I love real estate. Like I just love looking at houses. Like, mm. I'll just download the apps. And I'll just look at oh, real estate okay. houses. I love seeing them. But I always ask them, do you have a place with a bigger kitchen? And they're like, oh, no. Yeah, it's People always. People don't cook these days. <laughs> As someone who loves to cook and bake and stuff, it is very sad. So I always have people over when I do want to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. Then I'll make dinner. And then once I get, like, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Mood. I love how in Korea, cooking is almost like a... It's almost like a... Like a concept. Yeah. It's like the act of cooking is just like, tonight it's gonna be special. Like in America, we're just like, we have to cook to survive. Yeah. Right? But in Korea, it's like they fucking vlog that shit. 
I do love those though. There's a lot of um, <laughs> chip jong li. I mean, they're <gasps> chip jong li. Cutting up like the not meal prep, but mm. they'll cut up the carrots and they'll put it all away. Containers. And, yeah, and, and they'll buy stuff in bulk and cut it up and stuff like that. It just and like water their plants and things. It couldn't be me, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad with plants. I really want to be good with them. <laughs> but they just die, and I it'll be like a it'll be like a monstera plants. easily. Yeah. But you end up killing it, even though it's the easiest thing to take care of. Yeah, that's why I like Animal Crossing. Because Aww, then I just I have love it. Animal Crossing. Just put it in my pocket. Wait. I know. Ah, I drop if only, <laughs> <laughs> if only it was that easy. I'm pretty sure I posted that one time, and I wrote, "If only life was this easy." In Animal Crossing, you pick weeds and you can you pick sell weed. It. Yeah, <laughs> they make money from that shit. True. And like nowadays, like. Bitcoin and crypto and NFTs. I'm like, I don't know how that Oof. works. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, but the more I hear about it, the less I understand. You see, the way Leonard's just like... <laughs> NFTs, you say. <laughs> how do you do your makeup usually? What I'm doing to you oh, is okay. my makeup. I'm getting the, the Edward Billy achievement. Ah, pretty much. That's my whole channel. Do you speak Filipino then? Or... Uh, I forgot or a lot Tagalog? of it. Tagalog? Mm -hmm. I forgot a lot of it. Oh, I see. I can understand it still, but like, don't ask me to speak. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. I feel kind of sad about that though, because that's like that's like my culture. Mm. Link. <laughs> Ask me, and I'm like I don't fucking know. Like I told you, I was like actually shocked. But I thought you were like you grew up in America, but like you you spoke Korean in the household. Uh -huh. So like, but then you told me yeah, learned that you it learned it in, in, in Korea. Korea. I was like, because both my parents are fluent in English, so there was really no need. Mm -hmm. So it was a like a double-handed sword, double-edged <laughs> sword at that point. Mm -hmm. Because in that way, I guess it just focused more on my English, but then. It was just really, it is really nice to know Korean. Yeah, I it really is. I really do think, because ever since I learned it, when I go back, I can communicate better with um, my family members who immigrated to the United mm -hmm. States. So Korean is still their more comfortable language, and I can text them. And then my grandmas too, so I can always talk to them, or like elders when I talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Because it used to, for me, it would just be like, meh. 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 <laughs> or, <laughs> but for me, I didn't know Hwajang so I was like, <laughs> Because I, I, mean, <laughs> I talked to my grandma in Korean. Oh so my I got God. the Korean, uh -huh. the old Korean terms. Uh -huh. And then so when I came here and I was saying stuff like that, A, they were laughing at me. Mm -hmm. B, they were, they were like, we don't use that anymore. Yeah, but <laughs> that's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Things like that. Hyunzo is such an old, and, um, you know, word. Uh, or, um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and stuff like that. Dakong, Dakong is actually they, like they still kind of still use that. Yeah, they do use it, but it's like Japanese. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. It's, it's they just don't use it as much. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Not so anymore. I'm trying to. I, I had to like reset my brain in that way. Wow, well, that's actually really cute. Girl English. who can't speak Korean is suddenly busting out these words. <laughs> yeah, 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 He's like yeah, ancient. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, who is this girl? <laughs> but then I, I think. I want to learn a lot more languages now, though, but I think my brain capacity is like full. The storage is not there anymore. Yeah, like we're past the age where learning languages is easy. I get why now parents have like yokshim for their children to mm -hmm. learn a lot when they're young. Because, mm -hmm. you know, their brains are still malleable. <clears throat> Maja, can I just say, you have like the best lashes I've ever seen on anybody. Ooh. Are they permed? No. <gasps> I get that a lot, though. Everyone wants to talk about my lashes. Every makeup artist I've ever worked with. Thank God, that means I want to do them. Oh really? It's oh, like curling? Mascara. Yeah, curling, oh, okay. heating. Oh, you do that for people? I try to, but... Because for me, as like I was saying, I do my own makeup with other people, but I don't do mascara and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I usually skip it or forget it. Uh -huh. Or if I do do it, I'm just like, oh my god. When we were filming Sorn's music video, just the lashes, I was ready to be like stabbing that and be like, oops, <laughs> I guess we have to call this shoot off. <laughs> Those lashes were like the death of me. Well, are they just, are they like... They They're look... so hard, like the glue is fucking weird. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I just have curly hair, so... Mm, because of that, my lashes grow... So oh. I used to pluck some of my lashes, which okay. no one's ever... So you didn't pluck your brows, but you plucked your lashes. They would grow like in down or stuff like that oh. into my eyes, so I would pluck them out. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. it would be sense. super annoying. So they I don't do that do now? That. Uh, not really, not as often anymore, but I definitely never really had a problem with my lashes and mm -hmm. i didn't know it and, until i came to korea that everyone kept talking about them so everyone always thought that i had extensions or like permed yeah. or whatever but bitch oh, so interesting <laughs> slay my fucking pussy that shit is fucking on fire bitch <laughs> oh my god one layer of mascara and her lashes are like what the girl what the girls 
at the shop do with like the you know they'll like put mascara and mucho it. Yeah, they mucho it and they get the stick and they light yeah. the fire. Where they individually like stick the lashes to clump them to give it that really like doll like. But she has that. Wow. You That's know what? I, I want you to like thought twice about mascara. I've never used a mascara that was very changed my life. Okay. Yeah. So all mascaras are kind of the same for me. So I've been trying to understand what I need to use to get it to be really nice. Because all mascaras, like I use it and I'm just like, they all look the same for me. Cause like the volumizing ones, the lengthening ones, they're all kind of, they just. They all make my lash look really long and voluminous. And like, I don't know, false lash effect. Sadly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm that girl. Yeah. Do you have to do a lot uh, for your life? What's your steps? It's the lash, the falsies. Oh. I envy that though. When I wear falsies, unless they're the individual ones, I look crazy. Ah, uh, too much, yeah? Oh, I mm -hmm. don't. Because they also like sit on top of my lashes. Mm, yeah. So I can't really do it. But I always wanted to because I would always watch all these makeup tutorials mm -hmm. and they would always put falsies on and it always changes the look, you know? Yeah, one done. But then when I came here and I actually started getting makeup done, they always use individual lashes, which look really good. Mm -hmm. But taking them off is such a pain. Because you don't know whether you got all of them or not. Oh, yeah. You have to like pull at your lashes. Oh, yeah. Imagine. That happened a lot, especially because like, the length was usually very similar. Mm -hmm. So whenever I would pull at them, I just would not know whether or not it was real. Yeah, the false lashes were like the same length as like my regular lashes. So like I just didn't like didn't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, but then sometimes I would wake up mm -hmm. and they're and on my pillow there would just be like spatters of imagine, them. Imagine. Like, I would be like doing a video for like the other channel where I have to get into drag and like the next day I just see like these lashes on the sink and I'm just like is there a spider oh, yeah. nest that I'm not yeah. aware, aware about? So I started using the cleansing oil and I just started doing mm, yeah. it and it just coming off luckily. Yeah. How are we doing? Wow. You look so fucking good. Like my pussy's fucking slayed bitch. <laughs> the Ed was is slayed. <laughs> but like I can see the comments like why does this bitch always do the same makeup? <laughs> Like, the thing is, it's the same makeup on everybody. It surprises me every time. I get it. You know, like, it looks different on everyone. Doesn't it? Doesn't it just, doesn't it just, yeah. You did do this. This is you. This is all you. I think you and my sister would get along really well. What's the age difference between your sister? Uh, she's first year college right now, so, or second year college. Oh. She was born in 2006. But even then, I feel like you and her would, like, vibe. Well, first of all, I realized why I would never be a good why God did not make me an older sibling. Why? Because I start like after we all kind of grew up, we started having a lot of younger cousins. Mm -hmm. And um, like I can, I love kids and like, I can play with them like a mm -hmm. lot and have very high energy. Mm -hmm. But then after like, some point, yeah. I just, I need, I need to go home. Girl, yeah. Yeah. So. Could that real quick, remember how we were talking about your poem? Right now, I put powder all over the face, but do you see how it's almost like Munga, you look like dead because of all the powder? Oh, I did get that. Yeah. Good as well. Highlighter, so IG. I'm Tim. Mm -hmm. Do you ever find yourself like for some reason when you're in front of the camera, it starts recording, you start to sweat for some reason, even if it's not hot? She's like, no. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm okay right in now. front of cameras. Mm -hmm. But then yeah. it just, at the same time, I just get, I get it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, if I leave a shoot, mm -hmm. I'm like, why did you open your mouth? <laughs> Half the time, I'm just like, it's gonna go be, on, be out on the internet. It's over. <laughs> uh, about the stuff you say? Yeah. Bitch, you better fucking work Is it like that, that highlight? Yes. I think that I always wanted to do that, but I never knew how. Good night. Your skin is like fucking perfect already, so it's like, you can do that shit. For me, I have like acne scarring, so it's like, I don't know when this is just, oh, glow, but then it's like acne scarring. No. I don't think it's, it's not very. It's not very, very yes, like queen of you? It, yeah, it's really not. <laughs> No, it's not very, it's not very slacy of me. I asked Actually, Yu Jong Hyung to teach me that. Yeah. Did he teach you? Not yet. Because he's really, actually Yu Jong Hyung. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three teens of his that he's done. I'm for at right now. Right. A Pink, Dugji, One Ho, Stacy. No papa. He's like that bitch is busy. He's at the Pang Song Guk every day. Oh yeah. Sis. I feel like I'd be so tiring. So I always feel bad for my managers or anyone else who's Because mm. I mean, us, we're performing. Yeah. And we're on stage though, and yeah. like in front of camera, but they're just back there all the time. Mm -hmm. So I always felt so bad. So I was always, I would always try to like change your stuff for them. Aww. I go. That's so nice of you. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me, but mm -hmm. you know, they're up from like early hours in the morning until late hours mm -hmm. of the night, and they have to drive and things like that. It's so much harder. I feel like they don't like, get enough credit sometimes. Yeah. Oh, she's so chake. That's so chake of you. I just always felt so bad because you know, like everyone's so sensitive because no one's sleeping enough. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you see the worst of people in those situations. Mm. You know, like, the worst of them. 
but um, it's just they're just so tired. Just trying to give them a little bit of like, energy in that mm -hmm. way, I think it just means it means more in those situations. Oh my god, Denise, 너 착한 거 아니야? 알았어, 아니야. You're fucking terrible. You're a shitty person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> Some, okay, sometimes I look into the internet and they're saying all these nice things. I'm like, where's the hate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where's the hate? I know y'all don't like me. Someone's got to not like me. I'm going to get on me about my tattoos or something. I'm like, Tattoo. Oh, no, more personal. <laughs> Talk about my character. <laughs> don't <laughs> <take> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, since you're like one of the first springs that I've done makeup on, I think you're one of the few that can pull off this like really strong red. Oh yeah, mm. they so. did like the reds, corals, oranges. I recently got Bonkly a girl. Plum. You enjoy? I got a re no. I love like plums and um, mm. dark mauves. That was my palette. Couldn't they? They were like no. Yes. But I mean, if you want to wear it, it's fine. And I don't wear blush normally because I have eczema, so I'm like God's doing the work for me, you know. Okay. But okay. I'll have like these these like fucking beautiful skin, shiny ass skin. Be like, I have eczema. Steroids. <gasps> Literal yeah. ointment. Oh. I can't go anywhere without my ointment. It's the most embarrassing line I pull out when I go somewhere. Where's my ointment? Where's my ointment? <laughs> oh my god. I need it. Ah, uh, because you were putting all that uh, lip balm on earlier. Yeah, I need it because it just gets so crackly and red and itchy and mm. scabby. It's just not a good look for anyone. <laughs> but I feel like I, it was worse when I was younger. But I think as I got older, I got it kind under of, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little brother also has eczema and that was not a pretty sight. Because my grandma had to take care of him. My so. grandma was always hot water. She was she grew up in the war era. <gasps> hot water heals everything. Mm -hmm. On mm -hmm. eczema. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh Bug God. bites, whatever you're having, whatever problems you're having, hot water. Boy broke up with you. Hot water. <laughs> Not wrong, but I think that's why I take really hot showers when things go wrong. <sighs> Is that a thing? You're stressing me out. Why am I getting too deep for you? I'm just thinking about like your dry skin <laughs> touching the hot water, like. You see my hair. Whenever I had like pink hair, and I would like, be stressed and sit there with the hot water. Mm. Would you have like would you like from all the bleaching, like your scalp would start to like peel and like fall like snow? Yeah. Oh my god, the mood. Ipuda. <laughs> see for you, it's like chai tok. When I try to wear that shit, it's like gochujang. Mm -hmm. so. I recently uh, got the lip color that. The person who did my personal color test recommended mm -hmm. the most for Punklio, mm -hmm. which is like this YSL lipstick in oh, um, course. YSL lipstick in literally called La Orange. Le Orange. Mm -hmm. And I was like as someone who like was so afraid of orange, mm -hmm. I was or like corals, but then I got it off of a uh, resale, like Tangan. Because <laughs> they were selling it for cheaper. Yeah. I was about to drop like forty dollars. Yeah, lipstick. just fucking Sorry. Mm -hmm. So I found it. And I tried it on this morning, and it was just so pretty, actually. Yeah. It wasn't as orange as I thought it would be. So mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, dang. And I realized why red lips never worked for me and stuff like that was because I was just always using the wrong undertone. Mm. And also because the rest of the makeup probably wasn't matching either. Yeah. I realized why all my contour always looks so chalky was because I was using the cool tone. Ah, good. Because that's, like, that's what I thought you were supposed to do. Yeah, a lot of times, but I think for certain skin tones, you can get away with using, like, Almost like bronzer. Yeah, because I was getting, because I was getting all my makeup tips from YouTubers way back in the day, where like, that wasn't really a thing. Mm -hmm. Not you, not <laughs> you. Just kidding. But like, all of, a lot of American YouTubers that I watched. Mm. So because of that, it was all. It wasn't about like your undertone or things like that. Like, the way they would do their liner would not work. For in America, me. they just don't really yeah. like personal color cutting go in. They don't give a shit about that right. stuff. I think even for me, my personal style, my aesthetic doesn't always mm -hmm. match with what. Yeah. Suits me the most, if I want to wear something, way to mix it. Mm -hmm. right. I, but I have gotten to the point where it's like, if I do want to wear like black, like for Storm's uh, thing when we were all filming content with her, I just, we were all for some reason like subconsciously matching her sharp objects, like concept. <laughs> so we all wore black for some reason. But I was like feeling myself that day. But even though that's not my personal color, that's the thing. so wearing all black makes you, it gives you a new kind of power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I will say, knowing your personal color saves you so much it money because you end up buying stuff that actually suits you. Because later I buy some things that I think are cute, but I wear it once and I'm like, what the fuck did I say? Right, right, right. I yeah. Know. Oh, you've been looking at yourself the whole time. You're oh, not no, gonna... I, don't, I don't know what I look like. Really? Yeah, I don't. Okay, so, um, there you go. Okay. You don't, you, you can be, you don't have to be. You are beautiful, that's so cute. Oh. That's what body. they want you to think, so you buy more of the products, but. Ooh, marketing is best. <laughs> oh, shoot. 
영미 잘한다. Hey. Oh shoot. <laughs> Slay mama queen. Work. You really did that. It's giving. You did do that. <laughs> so pretty. The glitter? Where what is this? It's my palette. Did I'll send I'll send it to you in the mail. No, because I'm still using the lip products you gave me. Let's not I talk about that brand. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying it. Whenever she said she was like looking forward to it. I was like, I was. Because I was going to give it to people for Christmas. I know. I'm para. Sorry. <laughs> so that was Denise. Give us your handles. Um, Instagram is Denise the Winnie's. Twitter and TikTok are Denise the Kim. If someone took Denise the Winnie's on the. What is Winnie's? It's, um, uh, my mom used to call me Denise the Winnie's when I was little. Because mm. I don't know, like, nothing really rhymes with Denise. So she would call me like Denise the Winnie's, oh, and it's kind of like man. I get to play off Dennis the Menace. Ah, like, oh, okay, okay. Dennis. Yeah. Do not call me Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, you better work. My God, out this. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm working it. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing my best. Doing my best. Can we expect more music from you? Yes, for sure. Any and all times, always working on music. Can't get away from it. Are you actually? Yeah. Okay, because I, like, I feel like there's some people that will say that, but they're not Rihanna? doing it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I heard she's dropping a new album. She is, and a baby, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her baby has gotta be cold. It's gonna be cold? She, no, no, like... It's she's not been covered <laughs> since what? I was conceived. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's also a Korean thing, or like just the general thing, like... <laughs> oh, girl, yeah. <laughs> With all her, her, her lipstick launches, her award shows, always... Always, like, exposing. The baby probably said, Bitch, wear a fucking coat! <laughs> yeah. I have an only we just send Rihanna pictures back and forth. Oh my god, that baby is freezing! Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Served. You've been served. What's her dinner? This. Oh. oh. Denise is really Fine, out Denise. here. The thing is, Denise is one jun chaka But then when she starts talking to that, I'm like, Bitch, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. And then people are like, You're so sweet. And I'm like, but the thing is, it's not like you're acting or anything. That's literally like you're also on the internet. Yeah. Right. But I, I don't know. I guess when people are like, you're so sweet and like chakke and nice. She's like, oh, honey, you know very little then. Yeah. <laughs> In my subconscious, I guess mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, like, oh, yeah. you're a big, strong, tough girl, you know? <laughs> and that's what gets you in trouble <laughs> on Twitter. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is. TikTok and Twitter are like where I'm actually like low key funny. Mm -hmm. Instagram is kind of like where I need to step up my game a little bit. That's your cam song place. Yeah. You're like. I have to actually do stuff. Though. But on TikTok, you're like. It's so stressful when I take uh -huh. pictures. So I'll tell people, and then I'll wait too long to post them. Uh -huh. So I have a bunch of old pictures with my older hair, like when I had a blonde streak, but I can't post. Oh them yeah. They've already seen me change my hair. Mm. <laughs> Does it matter? I, I don't know. Or it's like, like oh, it's too late for that. I think there's so many pictures like that. So mm. I can't just post them. And that would be like, and I only post, like, honestly, like, mine and me, like, once a week or something. That's that was a insane, lot yeah. for me. Because I try now. Because back then, I would post, like, once a blue moon. Like, literally every blue moon. So you're now is trying? I'm trying. Girl, it's not a fucking I post, like, once a month. But now that... <laughs> Let it over here. Like, you need to do TikTok. I'm like, oh, okay. uh, I like wake up in the morning. I like back when I was like, I'm gonna start Mundong hanging again. But when I would start working out, I'm like, I have to fucking get up and work out. <laughs> same with TikTok. And I'm like, I have to do my TikTok. Because I do everything the same day. Any day I have makeup on, that's what I'm doing. Everything. Maja, so you better start filming TikToks now. Okay. This is actually what we're gonna do. So bye. Okay. Oh. <laughs>